Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Top Gate. In this video, I'll discuss few questions based on the critical section problem. So in the previous few lectures, we have seen what is a critical section problem as well as we have seen several solutions to solve the critical section problem. So let's straight away go to this question. So this question was asked in the gate exam and this question says that we have two processes X and Y and they need to access the critical section. So there are two processes X and Y and both these processes, they need to access the critical section section and we have two variables variable p and variable q and these two variables are the shared variables in fact the shared boolean variables which are initially set to false so initially we have to set the value of variable p as well as variable q as false clear and in the end it is asking that what will be the outcome of this code so we have code for process x and the process y and it is asking whether this code is achieving mutual exclusion and preventing deadlock or not so out of these four options we have to select any one option and we have to see in this code whether mutual exclusion and deadlock are satisfied in this case or not okay so initially it is saying that variable p and variable q they both should be set to false so i'll set the value as variable p as false and variable q also as false okay so both the values are set to false so we have the codes for x and y and they both need to access the critical section so since we have to test only two things in this one the first thing is the mutual exclusion the second thing is the deadlock so in this one we just have to test for only a single situation that situation will be uh, that the process x and y they both want to access the critical section at the same time so in that situation only we'll find out whether there is deadlock or not or whether there is mutual exclusion achieved or not okay so let's uh, start this one so process x writes variable p is equal to true so first thing it is doing as variable p is equal to true so i am setting variable p as true now okay so the first thing that x did is it is setting the variable p as true now we'll do the context switch we'll come to this one process y now will execute and write variable q is equal to true so it was initially false now it will also be set to true again we'll do the context switch we'll come to this one and uh, this process x writes while variable q is equal to is equal to true so it is only checking whether the value of variable q is true or not clear so till the time the value of variable q is true then it will execute this statement inside the while loop as soon as it finds that the value of variable q is not true then it will terminate and goes out of the while loop clear so it will write while variable q is equal to is equal to true so let's check it so variable q is currently true only so the condition is true therefore we'll go inside the while loop and this process x will go and execute the critical section now the process is executing in the critical section again we'll do the context switch we'll come to this one here process y will write while variable p is equal to is equal to true so it is checking whether the value of variable p is true or not so yes the value of variable p is true right now therefore the condition is true hence it will also come inside the while loop and will execute the statement inside the while loop therefore this process will also enter into the critical section so we have seen that at the same time process x as well as process y they both are able to enter into the critical section hence we can say that in this one mutual exclusion is not satisfied clear so now uh, in these options we have uh, a and d in which we have mutual exclusion as not satisfied so this b will not be the answer this c will not be the answer so the answer will be either a or d now we just have to check whether there is deadlock or not okay if it is able to prevent deadlock the answer will be a if it is not able to prevent deadlock the answer will be d clear now let's see whether it is preventing deadlock or not so what is deadlock so deadlock means that if both the process x and y they both uh, want to enter into the critical section but neither x nor y is able to enter into the critical section the system is deadlocked it is not able to proceed further clear but in this one since both the process they tried to enter the critical section at the same time and they both went into the critical section so there is certainly no deadlock 
However, there is no mutual exclusion also, but there is no deadlock also. The system is not stopping, system is continuously executing because uh, both the process, they both wanted to go to the critical section and they both went into the critical section at the same time. Hence, it is preventing deadlock. So the correct answer will be A and not D. Clear? So this is a very simple question, very straightforward uh, logic in this one and uh, it usually carries one or two marks in gate and this is your solution. Now let's quickly solve one more question. So this question says that consider the methods used by process P1 and P2 for accessing their critical section whenever needed. So we have two process P1 and P2 and they want to access their critical section whenever they want to access. Now, apart from this uh, process P1 and P2, we have two variables S1 and S2, which are shared Boolean variables, which are assigned any random values. So we have two variables S1 and S2, and these S1 and S2 are the shared Boolean variables. That is S1 can have either true or false value as well as S2 can have either a true or a false value. And they can be assigned any random value. It can be either true or false. Clear? So we have codes for process P1 and P2 and in the end it is asking which properties are achieved. So, so with this code we have to analyze this code and with this code we have to find out whether mutual exclusion is satisfied or progress is satisfied or not. So we have four options this one out of this any one has to be selected. So let's start uh, doing this one and let's analyze this uh, uh, the codes for process P1 and P2. So it is saying that we have two variables S1 and S2 and they can be assigned any random value. So let's uh, take the value of S1 as true initially and S2 also as true initially. It can be false also or we can take true and false also. Okay. So in this situation, we'll, uh, I'm taking this as true true and uh, I'll tell you what will happen if I take true and false in this case. Clear? So uh, initially S1 is equal to true, S2 is equal to true. So we'll see that process P1 and P2, they want to enter into the critical section at the same time. So if they are able to enter into the critical section at the same time, then we'll say that mutual exclusion is not satisfied, clear? So let's see process P1, it says while S1 is equal to is equal to S2. Now, if you analyze this uh, uh, closely, you can see that in this while loop, there is a semicolon. In the previous question that we did, there was no semicolon and there was a condition inside the while loop. But in this one, you can see that there is a semicolon and there is no condition for the while loop. So it is a kind of a trap you can see in this one. That is, uh, it will execute this while loop and in the while loop, it will see that whether the value of S1 is S2 or not. Okay, so till it is S1 is equal to S2, it will continue to check this value uh, and as soon as it finds that S1 is not equal to S2, then only it will go on to the next instruction to be executed. Clear? But till the time this S1 is equal to S2, it will be stuck here in the while loop because there is no uh, statement inside the while loop. So it will not be able to go inside the while loop. And so it will continuously check whether the value of S1 is equal to S2 or not. So till it is S1 is equal to S2, it will continue to stuck here. It will not be able to move on to the next instruction that we have here. Clear? So that is the difference between that while loop and this while loop. Clear? So uh, process P1 says while S1 is equal to is equal to S2. So S1 is equal to true, S2 is equal to true. So yes, S1 is equal to S2 only. Therefore, it will be stuck here. It will not be able to move further. Why? Because it is finding that the value of S1 is equal to S2 and there is no condition to execute. So it continuously, it will check for the value of S1 as S2 or not. Okay. So it will be stuck here. Now, at this point, we'll do the context switch. So context switching will come here and in process P2, P2 will write while S1 is not equal to S2. Again, here we have a semicolon. There is no condition for the uh, while loop. So uh, it is again a kind of a trap here only. So it will execute while S1 is not equal to S2. So S1 is equal to S2. So condition is false. Therefore, the while loop is broken. Clear? So the while loop is broken, it will go to the 
critical section and start executing in the critical section clear so this process p2 will continue to execute in the critical section and p1 will continue to be stuck here in the while loop it will not be able to move on to the critical section so this process p2 after completing its work in the critical section it will come out of the section and here it will execute s2 is equal to not of s1 so s2 is equal to initially it was true now not of s1 will be false so now it will be set to false clear now as soon as this uh, p2 does s2 is equal to false when we'll do the context switch this process p1 who was stuck here because of s1 is equal to s2 now finds that the value of s1 is not equal to s2 therefore this while loop is broken and it will go to the critical section and execute the critical section clear and then finally after its work is done in the critical section it will come out and here it will write s1 is equal to s2 and s1 is true initially and the value of s2 is false therefore now the new value of s1 will be set to false now both the value of s1 and s2 as false so you can see very clearly that in this one mutual exclusion is satisfied clear why because when process p2 was there in the critical section p1 was stuck here and similarly when process p1 is in the critical section p2 will be stuck why suppose process p1 is in the critical section and it was executing at that time process p2 wanted to go to the critical section and when it is in the critical section then the, that value will be true only okay so that value will be true only clear so process p1 it was executing in the critical section at that time p2 comes and write while s1 not equal to s2 so s1 is equal to true s2 is equal to false yes the condition is true the uh, s1 is not equal to s2 therefore it will be stuck here it will not be able to move on to the critical section so the process p1 is doing its work in the critical section and p2 is stuck in the while loop it is not able to move on to the critical section so we can very clearly say that in this one mutual exclusion is satisfied so out of these four options uh, only two options a and d have yes in this category so option b will be wrong option c will be wrong so now we need to find out whether option a is correct or option d is correct so we just need to work on the progress now okay so the progress requirement says that uh, suppose there are two process p1 and p2 and p1 wants to go to the critical section so only p1 should be involved in the decision making process p2 should not be involved in the decision making process of whether p1 will enter into the critical section now or not okay so p2 should not take part in the decision making process when p1 wants to enter into the critical section so now let's uh, reset the values again to uh, false only now uh, you can or you can just uh, take it as uh, s1 is equal to true and s2 is equal to false so we can have any random value for s1 and s2 so uh, initially uh, the uh, the value of s1 is true and the value of s2 is false so process p1 will write while s1 is equal to is equal to s2 so s1 is not equal to s2 so therefore it is finding the value of s1 as not equal to s2 therefore this while loop is broken and it will move on to the critical section now process p1 who was working in the critical section after completing its work it goes out of the critical section and it sets s1 is equal to s2 so s1 is equal to true initially s2 is false therefore the new value of s1 will be false now clear so now s1 is equal to s2 so suppose at this point process p2 does not want to go to the critical section p1 again wants to go to the critical section so p1 will write while s1 is equal to is equal to s2 so s1 yes s1 is equal to s2 only therefore the condition is true hence p1 will not be able to go on to the critical section it will be stuck here in the while loop however there is only p1 who wants to go to the critical section right now p2 does not want to go to the critical section hence there is no progress the system is stuck here and the uh, decision of whether p1 will now go to the critical section or not it actually depends on process p2 why because when process p2 enters into into the critical section and after coming out it will set the value of s2 is equal to not of s1 then only the values will be different and then this process p1 will be able to go to the critical section 
Hence, the decision of whether P1 will enter into the critical section or not is actually dependent on the process P2 who is not at all interested in going into the critical section. Hence, we can say that in this one, progress is not achieved. So, mutual exclusion is achieved, but progress is not achieved. So, out of this A and D, D is the wrong answer and A is your correct answer in which mutual exclusion is satisfied and progress is not satisfied. Thank you so much.